We actually got attacked by a skunk a couple days ago. So excited about picking up a six by six. All right guys, so this is the electric fume yellow. This is off of the Mercedes. Hey folks, welcome back to their vlog. Appreciate you guys watching as always. So first and foremost, we've got this bright ass yellow H1 Hummer. Um, it's actually called electric beam yellow, not to be confused with laser beam yellow, which I don't even know if it exists, but um, we actually got attacked by a skunk a couple days ago. It ran in here underneath the truck. Uh, a couple guys chased it outside, and then uh, Jason goes aggro on it. That's when we got the camera out. He caught it. It's it just crazy. So stay tuned for that footage. But before we get to that, we've got a customer that came in, really cool guy, local guy, and he just picked up the 1999 H1 Hummer, if you recall that one, the yellow one with 35,000 miles. Super clean truck. Also, really cool backstory about his other off-road rig that he takes out on the Rubicon, so you don't want to miss this. Uh, it's coming up next, and uh, yeah, let's take a look at some footage. So today, I've got my new friend Virgil over here, and Virgil uh, saw this truck online for sale, called up and said, hey, I'm going to come down right now and take a look at it. Virgil has a cool story, like where he came from with this <laughs> five ton, and then got into it so wanted to share that story with you yeah back in 2017 I uh, was watching YouTube videos and just got uh, excited about picking up a 6x6 so I ended up with an M923 a2 cargo troop carrier aka five ton as I was telling you earlier Ryan the wife nicknamed him Thor and uh, started going out and actually joined some a couple of Jeep runs run by a guy by the name of Randy at not a Rubicon productions and just had a blast navigating the trails is a challenge and so really got the bug to get something maybe a little more appropriate for off-roading. Started looking at Humvees and then realized that in the state of California, that's a non-starter, really. Yeah. You're just, you're just yeah, not yeah. gonna get a clean titled uh, Humvee that you can uh, enjoy you know, yeah. as a daily driver. And what he means by a clean title Humvee is uh, it won't be street legal, folks. So we get a lot of calls, and this is a good intro on the Humvee versus H1 yeah. side of things. A lot of people call in asking about uh, Humvees. They're like, hey, I want to get a Humvee, and I want to get it registered in California. Um, it's almost impossible. It is very likely that it could be outlawed or the title removed from you as far as a street legal right. drivable vehicle. So you're stuck with this really cool Humvee that you can't really drive on the streets. So that's a non-starter and a level of stress yeah. I just don't need in my life, right? I want to go out and enjoy it on a daily basis. The five tons registered as a historic vehicle, so I'm kind of limited in what I can and can't do with it. So then I start looking at uh, Hummers and I found your website yeah. and a lot of your great YouTube videos. Like I said, I really love the dynamic. Saw this one, checked your website, gave you guys a call, ended up talking to Paul. As soon as I met you guys and talked on the phone and then our interaction, it's it's just you're so open transparent um just no pressure really felt comfortable yeah and that this was the place i want to do business i appreciate that. thank you yeah absolutely it's sincere yeah. um really appreciate it kind of these random almost serendipitous sequence of steps that yeah, over yeah, a two, yeah. literally a two-year journey mm -hmm. that got me here All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that footage of Virgil. Super cool guy and awesome story, especially off-roading a five-tone on the Rubicon Trail. That doesn't get more legit than that. So this is the electric beam yellow. This is off of the Mercedes G squared, which if you guys don't know, is actually very similar to the H1 in the fact that it has geared hubs. The H1 has geared hubs, so does the G squared. So G squared is massive. It sits actually a little bit taller than the H1, it's up here. Um, and they did a special color with electric beam yellow and it's definitely crazy. It's like a highlighter color. It, this thing is going to get a ton of attention going down the road. Definitely perfect for DDE 
and I think Damon and it was going back and forth as far as which color to do and finally decided on this color which is pretty badass in my opinion. It's definitely going to get a lot of attention. It's a little Yellow. over the top. It's a, it's a little <laughs> bit over the top. Yeah, just a little bit. So what we're working on right now is getting as many black parts on here as possible. We're going through and powder coating all the accessories. Uh, we've got the black rims on there as well as the D-ring brush guard. Black top, we swapped out the original top which was tan if you remember that. Got the black one on there which looks way better. And then the next step is really the interior. The interior on this truck is all tan which just really clashes with that electric beam yellow color. And um, it just doesn't go very well. So DDE is going to take it up to their buddies and get it swapped out with a full black interior. At that point, this thing's going to be done. It's going to look insane when it's done. And it's pretty bare bones on the inside. We've got the door panels off. The carpeting obviously is out. It's going to come back up here. We're going to go through the entire truck, make sure it's dialed in because it has a few screws loose and that's not Dave and Damon. But um, on the truck, it needs a little bit of help. And then we'll get it dialed mechanically. I know we have Roy upstairs doing a ton of interiors. He's just slammed right now getting interiors done for all of our customers. And uh, Dave and Damon had a good friend up in, I think it's Bakersfield or somewhere up there. And they're gonna get it dialed in for him and then probably ship up to Canada and get a ton of footage going out on it. So, we've got a little bit of work to do with the suspension, steering components, obviously. After seeing it airborne like four or five feet, which you shouldn't be doing in a Hummer, um, it needs some help. So we're going to get this thing back on the road here, wrapped up in the next day or so, back to their painter, back to us, mechanical work, and to the upholstery shop in that chronological order, I guess. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. So it's coming, and then it'll be on their vlog here probably in another couple weeks. There's a big piece of the story that you're missing here with the truck. Yes. So we had a skunk, like a real skunk with the white stripe, <laughs> come into the shop, charged into the shop as we're working on the DDE truck. And we had like five or six guys start to squeal as the, the skunk's running in here, runs underneath the truck. And then eventually I think Flo chased the skunk outside. And then Jason decides that he's gonna jump in the middle of it and rescue the skunk. He's this cat person apparently. And I, apparently skunks and cats look similar. I don't know. But, it looks like um, my cat. Yeah, it's disgusting. You guys, let me know what you think. If you have more respect for Jason or less, comment below. Um, Dude, I think I picked up I think a skunk I've with my bare hand. For the my guy. bare hand. I picked disgusting, up a skunk. Disgusting animal. So yeah. yeah, check this footage out. Apparently, we got a little Pepe Le Pew over here. Jason, right here. He's nice. over here. Uh, Jared, I can see him. I got an idea. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh. This is the Skunk Eradicator 2000. Fire in the hole! <laughs> <laughs> Just reach in there, bro, and grab him. <laughs> grab him by the tail. I just don't want to get bit. I wouldn't want to get sprayed. But. Well, I can keep his butt away from me. I mean, I got him in my hand, but I'm just afraid to get bit. Jason is a tenacious son of a bitch. <laughs> He's been on this thing for like 20 minutes now. If he hasn't bit you yet, he probably doesn't have teeth. Here you go. Got the skunk. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Right, let's go again. Oh, Hi, little skunky. Oh, that looks like shots is a <laughs> You gonna play dead, buddy? <laughs> no! Anybody want a skunk? <laughs> Want to <laughs> All right, say bye to the YouTube oh, viewers. Oh, that's not for me. It's not to spray. <laughs> oh! Now that's how you get a skunk out of a bush. <laughs> and for Jason to get back on the vlog. <laughs> that's what it took? Was me getting a skunk out of the fucking bush? <laughs> Good job, dude. You are <sighs> freaking filthy now. I know. Oh Whatever. my God, look at this. Whatever. All, all, part of, all, all for part a skunk a ninja. that did not need to be saved. Here. He's like a ninja too.
guys, so what do you think? Is that absolutely disgusting or what? Comment below, let me know what you guys think. Um, I think You're I lost- You a scaredy cat. Did, no, I was a freaking smarty cat. No, I didn't get sprayed. He didn't even try to spray cat. me. He didn't even try to spray me or bite me or his. Disgusting. And Disgusting. then you kept running every time I tried to show you this. Yeah, gun. yeah. Comment below. <laughs> who who made the right choice, Ryan or Jason? That's all you got to do. Type in Ryan if that choice is the right choice to stay away from a friggin' skunk, or Jason if you're that type of person you run up and grab the skunk and put your face in its butt. I don't know. Um, that's so pretty disgusting. If, I didn't put my face in If you in type in Jason, make sure you hit the unsubscribe button down below. No, 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 no. No but, uh, unsubscribing. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and thanks for watching, folks. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Beer bong some tequila and get her done. Beer bong some tequila? Mm -hmm. Electric, no, electric green, yellow. What, what color is it? But guess what? Randy gets to fix it. No, Randy ain't gonna fix it. These two are on my list. 